Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Shalom, shalom, most high in Christ bless, most high in Christ bless. This is 15 Minutes with the Captains. I'm Captain Amaziah. And I'm Soldier Nathaniel. And today I have Soldier Nathaniel with me. Uh, today's topic, today's topic, we are going to prove that in the New Testament, the letters of Paul, the epistles of Paul were written to the Israelites. That's what we're going to prove. The Romans, the Corinthians, the Philippians, the Colossians, okay, the Thessalonians. We're going to prove that those are the children of Israel today, right now, brothers and sisters. Let's go to Genesis 49 and 1. We're going to start right in the book of Genesis. Let's see the prophecy. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and Jacob said, Jacob is the forefather of the children of Israel. Go ahead. Gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. So... In the last days, we are going to be on the bottom. We're going to be befell. That's what it said, right? It said, we, I'm going to show you that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. We're not going to be high in society. We're going to be pretty low in society. We're going to be in captivity after captivity, dominated by the other nations. Give me Matthews 1 and 17. Now we're going to the New Testament, right? Matthews chapter 1. And give me verse 17. Matthew chapter 1, verse 17. So all the generations from Abraham to David uh -huh. are 14 generations. From Abraham, who got the covenant of promise, all the way to David was 14 generations. Okay. And from David until the carrying away into Babylon. Carrying away into Babylon. That's captivity. Go ahead. Are 14 generations. That's another 14 generations. So now we're in captivity in Babylon. Read. And from the carrying away into Babylon unto Christ are 14 generations. What happened in between the carrying away of Babylon to the carrying to Christ? Captivity after captivity after captivity, brothers and sisters. Whether it's the Babylonians, whether it's the Assyrians. Whether it's the Persian and the Medes, whether it's the Greeks. Now, after the Greeks, we're in the New Testament book of Matthew under whose captivity? Rome. Rome is ruling now, right? So where are we? Where are the children of Israel? They are in captivity, right? As Genesis 49 and 1 said, well, I'm going to tell you what's going to befall you. 2 Maccabees 6 and 6. 2 Maccabees chapter 6 and verse 6. So what happened? Before, before Christ came on the scene, before the Roman captivity, what happened? Let's go. Second Maccabees in the Apocrypha, chapter 6, verse 6. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient feasts uh, uh -huh. or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. So when the Greeks came into Judea, into Jerusalem, it wasn't lawful for you to call yourself a Jew. You, had, you couldn't keep the Sabbath day no more. You couldn't keep Passover no more, tabernacles and so forth. You couldn't be a Jew no more. Go ahead. And in the day of the king's birth, every month, uh -huh. they were brought by bitter constraint to eat of the sacrifices. They were brought by bitter constraints. They were forced to do 
these customs of the other nations, particularly this nation, the Greeks. Go ahead. And when the Feast of Bacchus was kept, the Jews were compelled to go in procession to Bacchus, carrying ivy. ivy. Go ahead. Moreover, there went out a decree to the neighbor cities of the heathen by the suggestion of P Ptolemy. Ptolemy against the Jews. This is against the Jews. That they should observe the same fashions and be partakers of their sacrifices. Uh-huh. And whoso would not conform themselves to the manners of the Gentiles. Of the Gentiles. Which Gentiles? The Greeks. You had to call yourself a Greek during this time. Go ahead. Should be put to death. We're going to kill that dude that don't want to be called a Greek or a Gentile. Go ahead. Then might a man have seen the present misery. Now, give me Matthews 4.15. So Israel, the Jews were called Greeks at one time in the Greek captivity. Our nationality was changed. We were forced to do what? Be Hellenized. Today, they will call it integrate. We were forced to do it. You're forced to do these customs here. The custom we have, we learn because we were forced. Slavery. That's how we learned our customs. Slavery. For Matthew 4.15. Matthew chapter 4, verse 15. The land of Zebulon. That's a tribe of Israel. And the, and the land of Nept Nephtali. Nephtali. That's Nephtali. That's another tribe of Israel. What's Two, two, two tribes of the nation of Israel. Go ahead. By the, way where, by the way of the sea, beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. Northern kingdom brothers and sisters was called Gentiles. Wow. Give me Deuteronomy 20 and 37. What's the prophecy? Let's go to the prophecy now. I didn't forget the topic. We're going to get to it. We're gonna, just going to hit you with these first. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. An astonishment. A proverb. A proverb. And a byword. A byword is being called outside of your God-given name. A byword is being called by what? Gentile names. Or even down to your last name. Gentile names. You're going to be called an American. You're going to be called a Jamaican, a Haitian, a uh, uh, English, you're going to be called this, that, Caribbean, West Indian, Indian, uh, what else they got, uh, Puerto Rican, Cuban, Gentiles. We're going to be called Gentile names, brothers and sisters. Now, give me Acts 8 and 1. Let's go to the book of Acts. What happened? Come on. Acts chapter 8, verse 1. And Saul was consenting unto his death. Saul was consenting unto whose death? This is, this is Paul before he converted. He was Saul. His name was Saul. He was con consenting unto whose death? Stephen in the chapter before. He was consenting unto his death. Go ahead. And at that time, there was a great perse persecution, persecution against the church, which was at Jerusalem. There was a persecution against the church at Jerusalem. Let's see what happened. And they were all scattered abroad. Throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria. So they went, not just staying in Judea, but they went up to Northern Kingdom too, doing what? Except the apostles. Except the apostles. So here's one example of a scattering of Israelites. They went everywhere. They went all over. Now, give me Romans 1. R Romans chapter 1. Now, before you read Romans 1, I want you to read the title of the, of the book of Romans. What does it say? The, the epistle of Paul, the apostle, to the Romans. This letter is to who? The Romans. This letter we're going to read is to the Romans. Let's see if it's talking about everybody in Rome. Go to verse 7. Romans 1 and 7. Romans chapter 1, verse 7. To all that be in Rome. To all that be in Rome. Let's see if it's talking about everybody. Go ahead. Beloved of God. Is everybody in uh, is the Idumians loved of God? No. Go ahead. Called to be saints. What? Called to be saints. Give me Psalms 148 and 14. How do we know who are the saints in the Bible? Let's see. Precept upon precept. Who's the, who are these saints? Who's that talking about? Come on. Psalms chapter 148, verse 14. He also exalted 
the horn of his people, the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, the praise of all his saints. They go that. That's what we're looking for. The saints. Who are the saints? Even of the children of Israel. Indeed, of the children of Israel. Those are the saints. Read. A people. A people. Near unto him. A, ne a people near unto him. Now, so now we know who are the saints? The children of Israel. Paul is talking to the saints in Rome, brothers and sisters. Okay? Give me, go to 1 Corinthians. Go to 1 Corinthians and read the title of the book. 1 Corinthians, the first epistle of Paul, the apostle to the Corinthians. This letter is to the Corinthians in Corinth. Read verse 1 and 2. 1 and 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 1. Paul called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ through the will of God mm -hmm. and Sothesnus, our brother. Go ahead. Unto the church of God, which is at Corinth. The church of God. This church is at Corinth. Go ahead. To them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus. Read. Call to be saints. Call to be saints. I could use the same precept, Psalms 148, for this chapter too. But I'm not even going to go there. We're going to keep reading and we're going to get a different precept. Go ahead. With all that in every place call upon the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, both theirs and ours. Give me 1 Corinthians 10 and 1. We'll bypass that one for the time being, right? The saints. Come on. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 1. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant. That ye should be ignorant. How that all our fathers were. All our fathers. Who is he talking to? The Corinthians. He just said the Corinthians, are, him and him, he's, took, he's given history here. He said our fathers did what? Were under the cloud. Were under the chariot. And all passed through the sea. Our fathers passed through the sea, Corinthians. What sea? The Red Sea. Let's go to Exodus 13 and 18. He's given history here. Hey, y'all in Corinth, don't forget our fathers passed through the cloud, passed through the sea, man, under the cloud. Come on. Y'all got to remember that history. Come on. Exodus chapter 13, verse 18. But God led the people about through the way of the wilderness of the Red Sea. Uh-huh. And the children of Israel. Who? The children of Israel. Did what? Went up. Harnessed out of the land of Egypt. And the children of Israel went up harnessed out of the land of Egypt, brothers and sisters. So who are these Corinthians? The children of Israel, brothers and sisters. All praise to the Most High for that. Go to the next book. Go to the next book, Galatians. Read the title. Read the title. Because Paul is now going to talk to the Galatians. His letter to Galatians. The epistle of Paul, the apostle to the Galatians. To so the Galatians. Go ahead, verse 1 and 2. Galatians chapter 1, verse 1. Paul, an apostle, not of men, neither by man, but by Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. And God the Father. And God the Father. Who raised him from the dead. And all the brethren which are with me unto the churches of Gal Galatia. Hold that. Give me Acts 18 and 23. Acts chapter 18, verse 23. And after he had spent some time there, he departed and went over all the country of Galatia. All the country of where? Galatia. Uh huh. And yeah. Phrygia in order, strengthening all the disciples. Strengthening all the disciples, brothers and sisters. Let's find out who those disciples are. John 8 31. Who are these disciples in Galatia that Paul has to go back and strengthen them? Come on. John chapter 8, verse 31. Then said Jesus to those Jews. To those who? Jews. Who? Jews. Uh-huh. Which believed on him. Uh-huh. If ye continue in my word. If you continue my word, you Jews. Then are ye my disciples then indeed. You're my disciple indeed if you continue my word. So who are those disciples in Galatia? Israelites, brothers and sisters. Let's go to the next book. E Ephesians. The epistle of Paul, the apostle, to the Ephesians. To the Ephesians. Acts 18 and 19 now. So now we're going to go to the book of Ephesians, right? We're going to find out who these Ephesians are. 
Acts 18 and 19. Acts chapter 18, verse 19. And he came to Ephesus. He came to Ephesus. What are you doing, Ephesus? And left them there. Uh-huh. But he himself entered into the synagogue and reasoned with the Jews. Wow. He reasoned with the Jews in Ephesus, brothers and sisters, in Ephesus. Okay? Those Ephesians were Israelites. Go to the next book. Go to the next one, man. The epistle of Paul, the uh -huh. apostle to the Philippians. Now, this is the, Philipp the Philippians. Give me Acts 16 and 12. So now let's find out about the Philippians. Maybe they were Greeks. Let's find out. Or Caucasians. Acts chapter 16, verse 12. And from thence to Philippi, uh -huh. which is the chief city of that part of Macedonia. Read. And a colony. Read. And we were in that city abiding certain days. Read. And on the Sabbath. And when? On the Sabbath. On the Sabbath day. We went our Went out we, of me, the city. We went out of the city by a riverside. By a riverside where prayer was wont to be made. Read. And we sat down and spake unto the women which resorted thither. So they were keeping the Sabbath day with the people in Philippi, brothers and sisters. Who's who was given a Sabbath day? The Israelites, the children of Israel, brothers and sisters. Now go to go to Colossians 1 and 2. The epistle of Paul, the apostle to the Colossians. Read one, chapter two. 1, verse 2. To the saints. To the who? The saints. To the who? The saints. We've already proven who the saints are, brothers and sisters, the children of Israel. You can read about that in Psalms 148 and 14. Go ahead. To the saints and faithful brethren in Christ, which are at Colossae. That's not everybody in Colossae. That's the saints. That's the children of Israel in Colossae. Go ahead. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father. Our Father. Go ahead. And the Lord Jesus Christ. All praise to the Most High. So now, let's go to the next book. Thessalonians, right? Read the title. The first epistle of Paul, the apostle to the Thessalonians. Thessalonians, Thessalonians okay? So now we're going to read about the Thessalonians. That's what Paul wrote to. Acts 17 and 1. Let's see if these Thessalonians were uh, Greeks, uh, non-melanated people. Let's, let's find out. Acts chapter 17, verse 1. Read. Now, when they had passed through Amphipolis, Amphipolis and Apollonia. Apollonia, excuse me, they came to Thessalonica. Thessalonica, where was a synagogue of the Jews. Wow, why does Paul keep going into these synagogues when he goes to these Greek places? I don't get it, okay? He goes to the synagogue of the Jews in Thessalonica, and what happened? Go ahead, verse 2. And Paul... And his manner was, as his manner was, went in unto them, went in unto them at the Sabbath day, and three Sabbath days reasoned with them out of the scriptures. He reasoned with them out of the scriptures. He said, hey, man, you Jews over here, come look at this, man. I got to show you Christ in the scriptures, you Jews, man. He went to the synagogue of the Jews. Let's go to Acts 21 and 19, we gonna, and we're going to drop the bomb right here. Acts 21 and 19 through 21. Acts chapter 21, verse 19. And when he had saluted them, he declared particularly what things God had wrought among the Gentiles by his ministry. Okay, let's find out. Let's see what he wrought among the Gentiles. Go ahead. And when they heard it, they glorified the Lord. They glorified the Lord. Go and ahead. said unto him, Thou seest, brother. How many thousands of Jews? How many thousands of Jews that are which believe? Which believe, and they are all zealous of the law. These Jews are zealous of the law that are among the Gentiles. Go ahead. And they are informed of thee that thou teachest all the Jews. You teach, you Paul, you teach all the Jews which are among the Gentiles. That are among the Gentiles, Paul. They are aware of you. 
They reformed the view, Paul, that you're teaching all the Jews among the Gentiles, whether it's in Corinth, Rome, Philippi, Colossae, and so forth, Thessalonica. You're teaching all, the, all those Jews around there, Paul. You're doing your thing. Go ahead. To forsake Moses, uh -huh. saying that they ought not to circumcise their children, neither to walk after the custom. So the point is that Paul taught the Jews among the Gentiles as say of the scriptures, brothers and sisters. So that's 15 minutes with the captains. I'm Captain Amaziah. Soldier Nathaniel. And we say shalom. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.